Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Oxygen Not Included, where in the previous episode we finally got our oil refinery up and running and that is now producing many things including... Why is it so... Why is it uh, night so long? Uh, including the petroleum and the natural gas, and then we sent that off for refinement over here, which hopefully will start out this episode. We also have, uh, well, had and still have a big issue when it comes to lack of lack of oxygen because of the lack of algae and the uh, non-refinement of slime. Also, this place is 101 degrees, which is why uh, Nils is currently dying, and I wish they would just... Uh, you know what, I'm going to have to put them uh, onto that chair. I think I'm going to assign people to this triage cot because, quite frankly, it is becoming a problem. Also, because of the uh, because of the lack of certain things, uh, like a coal, for example, you can see that the generators are not generating. We do have a wood burner, but it is really not fit for purpose. So, yeah, we're going to try and get this this uh, refiner up and running, the polymer press, to then get all we can out of that one. I'm hoping for uh, plastic, which means a steam generator, and we'll see if we can place that. Obviously, the feasibility is questionable at this stage. We're also digging down on the left here to... Look at all the poker shells in there. <laughs> um, we're digging down here to get this coal. Um, getting that will allow us to then fire up the coal generator, and there's a lot of coal around here, so that should hopefully last for quite some time. And then we may dig out an area to uh, split the hydrogen and oxygen. The problem with that is, well, as you can see, this area, it's really, really warm, which means it's, yeah, we can't really pump that water to split it. But we'll see how we get on. Uh, is the loop still closed? It is, I believe, we've turned that... Is that turned off? No, we're going to have to turn that and pump blocked. Uh, yeah, the problem is that uh, that reservoir there is going right down. It's because the plants are using it. Oh, well, fair enough. Um, so, we have to check this and no power. Excellent. That's, that's not the case at all. Um, so this is now up and running and if we click on that we can see that um, it converts petroleum into raw plastic. So that will start working once it gets power but power will only be able to get once we have all of the coal which I will then prioritise the digging out of here because quite frankly we need it uh, for more than anything else really at this stage. Uh, we also have unrefrigerated food. That's because the fridges are off. That is a massive problem. Because uh, if that, if those, if basically that goes, we're scalding. Let me guess. Yeah, trying to repair in there. Yeah, that is the case. Um, Ren and Stinky. Ren and Stinky? That's a new TV series. Uh, <laughs> or rather, a reimagining of an old one. Yeah. Uh, having the call over here will uh, massively help us out. Let me dig out all of this. We should be able to dig out. There's also some, uh, what's that? Iron ore. Yeah, that's fine as well. Obviously, this is I wouldn't call it, well, I was going to say I wouldn't call it a hazardous area, but uh, it's full of chlorine, so yeah, I think we can legitimately call it a hazardous area. Insufficient oxygen generation. When we check the cycle report, it's not as bad. Oh no, it is worse than the previous one, but uh, yeah, it has improved from minus 500 only to minus uh, 280. But with the coal generators going back on, with the algae distillers now distilling, hopefully that'll be a bit better. We're also going to start to uh, remove all of this and dig our way down through all of this slime and remove that. And I think that was a skill point being gained at night, would that be? Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, uh, Lyra. And we'll go for super hard digging, which is fortuitous because we have uh, we have all this that requires super hard digging. You can see the salt water is building up in here. We haven't turned on the desalinator because, quite frankly, uh, that uses too much power at this stage. So, yeah. We are still digging down with this ladder. Uh, that's Bert doing that. This is all polluted oxygen. So, I think what we'll do is got oxygen deodorizer. Set that to priority level 9 and uh, 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, and uh, one either side. It doesn't use anything, this deodorizer. It doesn't require power or anything, so it's an interesting one. So they'll go ahead and build all of that at the highest level of the priority list, so that is good. Um, temperature is very, very warm around there. It's a, it's a shame that there isn't a, is there not, not a steam generator. Like, 
I thought there would have been. Oh, well, there is a, sorry, there is a steam generator. Yeah, it's um, steam turbine, but there's not like a steam engine, like a very basic one. I would have thought that would have been um, something we would have seen. And, ah, the polymer press is making plastic. You can also see, however, that it's now only minus 100, it's minus 10 around this area. And the ice is still there. Yeah, so it will start to melt that because that does uh, that does uh, warm up quite a bit. But it means we have plastic. So power, uh, missing resources, refined metal. It, uh, oh, refined metal we don't have anymore. Uh, and plastic we are starting to produce. How much plastic do we have? We have 120 out of 200. So that's actually quite good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deconstruct this liquid pump. I'm going to then run the ladder right down here and then place the liquid pump back in, which means then we can start to use the, uh, the, um, what's it called? Metal refinery to refine that metal and then get our steam turbine. And a lot of effort has been put into doing this and whether or not that's a good idea, I have no, I have no clue. Uh, we'll bring that all the way down to there. This will also have in for our plumbing. Uh, plumbing will go down. Uh, we'll go over to liquid pump and place that in there. Oh, it doesn't actually need to go. All that will let go to cancel. It'll only cancel that because of the overlay mode that we're in, which is fine. Back to plumbing. Liquid pipe, that goes in there. Power. Run the power down like so. And there we go. That should then allow this to uh, kick out. It says no resources wolframite. I'm going to say no. Uh, but we want to probably say gold to gold... Uh, Gold amalgam to gold, because I want to do that. Um, 100 kilos. We're going to say produce 10. The reason for that is because the steam turbine, obviously it says overheat temperature increase, and uh, there's one thing the steam turbine will probably get, and that's warm. So, yeah. Uh, someone is scalding when they are trying to repair that pump. That pump, where does that go to? Let me remind myself. It goes to there. Oh, so it's just going from there to there. That is understandable. In terms of germs, you can see it's actually better than it's been for a long time. Mainly because everything's boiling. Uh, so, yeah. That is still broken, that pitcher pump. I'm going to increase the priority level of it to see if we can repair it. There will be able to repair it. Scalding around here, yeah. I don't know if there's anything I can do to change that. Putting some, <laughs> putting some of the wheeze wart in, almost certainly wouldn't work. Um, so yeah, looks like Max is doing that. Uh, that is automatically refining. You see, it's uh, working and pressing, <laughs> pressing out the the plastic, which is good. And come on, I like the way it just works automatically. And there you go. Oh, and a bit of water because it's melting the ice, probably. There we are. So, do we have, then, steam turbine? We can make it. Out of gold. A gold steam turbine. So you can see where we place it. It requires inputs. Um, the inputs are on the bottom. And then we have the rest of it to go wherever. Now, could we place it there? I think so. I think that is probably one of the best places to put it. And steam turbine, priority level 9, made of gold and plastic. There we go. We've ordered it. Whether or not this fixes everything, <coughs> it won't. Spoiler alert. Uh, we will see. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just double checking then our plumbing over there. Right, that's fine. I just want to see where all this stuff goes. But we've uh, sorted that. So that goes into there, and then that goes into there. Yeah, and then the, because of the increase in temperature, it's uh, a bit better. Hmm. That's going into there. Yeah, and that's going into there. Can be refined. Right, okay. Just double checking a couple of things. Anyway, um, that is still broken. I'm going to say deconstruct because, quite frankly, I don't think it's going to be repaired ever. And I think what we'll do... 
is place the pitcher pump in here. It would work better. The mesh tile there as well. Are we still okay for power? Yes, power's still on, which is good. And steam generator. No liquid output. No connection. So, we will say heavy watt wire. 850 watts. Brilliant, if that works. Uh, and what does it output? Obviously, water, I'm guessing. Outputs water. It does output water. That's not too much of a problem for us because we've got a liquid pipe. And we go from there along and there. There we are. And hopefully that'll work. We could put the same thing in here, but that means uh, no opening that salt water. And that's, that's not something I really want to try and do. Let's see if this works. No liquid output. There's that little section missing. Of all the things that we're going to not do, it's that bit there. <laughs> it's working. And then it stopped. Um, so steam temperature below 125. It is below 125, yeah. Eventually this does go to that temperature. Not enough steam. Steam temperature is low. See, it's slowly going up, and eventually that will go and work. Hmm. That one is 102. That never goes to 125, really. Even the cool steam vent itself is only 108. That's a shame. That is a crying shame, because... There's not much we can really do about that. I'm going to, um... Disable that building, by the way. I don't really want that to, uh keep producing plastic at this stage. You're just going to use power. Same for the petroleum for now. Uh, disable building. And that's a shame. That means that basically the steam turbine doesn't work as we expected. Well, it sort of does. We, I think we've pointed this out in the previous episode that uh, there is a the, the area around it can't be a certain temperature. I think it's uh, 75 degrees, but the steam has to be 125. But yeah, it is actually 75 degrees around. Um, that's a shame. It worked a tiny bit, and then it stopped. So basically, we are back sort of to square on. One, we are... We are... In a bit of a pickle. We are running low on algae... And actually, algae is pretty good, but slime we're trying to get more of. We are digging out this stuff around here. Um, what I'm going to do is just place a couple of tiles like that, just so we can get access to this. Uh, so digging out all of this is a possibility. However, however, oh, printable balm lily, uh, balm lily seed. Do we need balm lilies? I don't think so. Um, building, digging, and. Uh, Doctoring and increased air consumption rate. Definitely not. Decreased calories with good farming. Ada. Um, oh, it's only 100. We'll go for meat. Mutant food poisoning. <laughs> uh, mainly because they have a good name. Uh, and we'll <laughs> they also have uh, passions for things as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a bit of a problem. Okay. So, cycle 138. Reduction in calories by about 12,000. Reduction in germs. Reduction in stress. Oxygen generation is up. But as you can see, not really that good because everybody is starting to suffocate. Yeah. Yeah. I think, truth be told... There's not much more we can do here. We are producing oxygen. Um, I think there's... I think I'll enable that building, and that is already enabled. I think we are starting to go back to... I think we're going back to uh, survivable. 
because all of these are uh, all of these are now on. So these algae terrariums are on, which is reducing the carbon dioxide. Scalding in there again. Yeah. Um, the carbon dioxide has been reduced. We are digging out here to uh, try and re try and get all of this slime and algae, which then once again will allow us to produce more oxygen and reduce the carbon dioxide. In all honesty, though, the steam turbine doesn't work properly. We'd have to make a new building for it. And we still have the problem that we're laying the track in front of the train, a bit like the wrong trousers from Wallace and Gromit, where we are just on the edge of failing very, very, uh, <laughs> pretty much every day. Um, and the algae's already quartered itself since I looked at that report. Basically then, I think the solution would have to be, it would have to be to use the electrolyzers to convert the water into oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, the oxygen will pump into the base, the hydrogen will use to power generators. But then that's a whole new setup, probably what we'll put around here. But I don't think we'll do that. I think, in all honesty, we will probably leave it there and call it for the series. With the... I wouldn't say a failure of the steam turbine, I mean it doesn't work, but um, with the focusing on the oil refinery and getting all that up, I'm glad we did it to get the polymer press because we can now make some more advanced stuff, but uh, I think I miscalculated the, the amount of oxygen and hydrogen, sorry, the amount of um, oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide that we have, as in we have too much carbon dioxide and not enough oxygen. It is propagating around the base now, as you can see, um, and it will be resolved but yeah I don't want to be fighting the uh, the colony all the way because um, that's pretty much where we are this uh, this is overheating there's lots of things I would do different in hindsight 2020 vision etc I think we'd probably go ahead and put things away from this steam vent would go for the Atmos suits sooner Maybe, well, certainly I would, with the uh, steam vent there and the steam vent there, I would certainly use electrolyzers now. Go very, very early on, or as fast as we can with electrolyzers, to produce that hydrogen and the oxygen. Uh, that would mean less coal generation, which means, sorry, less coal generators, which means we could save that resource a bit more and obviously produce less carbon dioxide, more atmosphere checkpoints and docks. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I think we'd uh, do differently, but... Overall, happy with how far we've got. Cycle 140 will be our final, our final day here, I think. Two deaths only. Ari and May, May being the first. 19 duplicates. Lots of scalding. <laughs> Lots of calories. Many calories indeed. Unrefrigerated food. Ah, yeah, because the refrigerator is turning on and off. Yeah, it's like it, it has that feel of a colony that's starting to die. Um, don't know whether it would. I think it I think it is salvageable. I think if we'd build around here and use the electrolyzer and stuff, we could probably get it back on its feet. But with the temperature around here and the failure of certain things and whatnot, I think uh, we've gone as far as I think we uh, really should there. Cycle 139, we can see that we have positive calorie generation, uh, negative uh, well, stress change reduction, minus 454%, a little bit increase in the disease, and oxygen generation, 407 kilos, so all positive. Yeah, so a lot better than, to be fair, if we're leaving it there, a lot better than the previous sort of 10 days at least. Overall, very happy with what we've achieved, very happy with the progress. In terms of how far we've got, it is furthest than I've got in any other game. Certainly things like Polymer Press and the Steam Turbine never even built in any other game. Or Refinery, same thing. Discovered a lot of stuff. Had a lot of fun, which is the main priority. In terms of the long-term stuff, Star Map, uh, you build a telescope, you can go to different uh, colonies as far as I'm aware. Obviously research, we have got a fair bit of research done, but... There's also stuff that we haven't done, like we haven't done uh, any of this like uh, smart storage or uh, transportation network. That's the, the conveyor rail. We haven't got any of that. We haven't got uh, the tube network. I don't know where it is. Where is it? Uh, I think it may be down here. 
There it is there, yeah, a transit tube. We haven't got any of that. We haven't got jetpacks. We haven't gone for any of this uh, solid fuel combustion and the rocket parts. So there's loads of stuff you can go for. Haven't obviously dug down very far. I mean, this is our base. So, I mean, it's, it's a fair way we've explored. But, yeah, you can go on and on and on. And same thing for above and, uh, well, you can see just how cold all this biome is but we could go up we'd, we'd have to build the uh, atmosphere docks which we have got built which haven't plumbed them in but either way we're going to call it there for this video and indeed this series i hope you have enjoyed both uh enjoyed, uh, the moment to moments as well as the uh, series overall uh we have come a lot further than i thought we would so that is pretty good i am certainly up for checking this out again so not this colony probably not we might come back to it but in reality I think we're probably best if we were going to start to start afresh and see what we can find and uh, incorporate all of the things that we've learned throughout the series. Either way, thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.